In this video, we're working through some fractions of number problems where we're finding the whole. So let's jump into example one, which says three is one ninth of what number? So you may be able to do this in your head since the numerator of our fraction is one, but I'm gonna show you guys how we can set up an equation to solve these so that we can use equations when we're dealing with the harder problems at the end of this video. So we're gonna learn how to translate a sentence into a math equation. So three is just a number, so it's gonna stay as is. So we have three, the word is in math means equals. Like if I say x is five, that means x equals five. So we're gonna have three equals. One ninth is just a number, so it's gonna stay as it is. In math, of means multiply. So one ninth times. And then what number is what we're solving for? So that's going to be our variable. So we're gonna write it like this. We're gonna say three equals one ninth times x. So now what we want to do is solve this equation for x. So we have 3 equals 1 ninth times x. Because x is being multiplied by 1 ninth, to get rid of it on the right side, we need to divide by 1 ninth. Anything we do to one side of our equation, we need to do to the other. So we have to divide both sides of our equation by 1 ninth. On the left, we're going to have 3 divided by 1 ninth. On the right, 1 ninth divided by 1 ninth is 1. So we're left with 1x, which is the same as x. And now we have to remember how to divide fractions. So first we want to change 3 into 3 over 1. And when we're dividing fractions, we're going to use keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep 3 as it is or change it to 3 over 1 because that's the same thing. Change division to multiplication. Flip our second fraction upside down. So you basically multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second. And now we're just going to multiply straight across. 3 times 9 is 27 and that's over one, so we're just gonna leave it as 27. So we get that x is equal to 27. So we get that three is one ninth of 27. So there is a shortcut when your numerator is equal to one. So the shortcut, I'll just write right here. If numerator equals one, is you can just multiply your number three by the denominator of the fraction. So three times nine is gonna give us 27. But I think it's important to understand how we set up this equation because I don't love it when students just memorize shortcuts. So let's jump into example two, which is one fifth of what number is seven? So again, we're gonna set up an equation for this one. The wording is a little bit different, but the problem is very similar. So we're gonna say one fifth and remember in math, of means multiplication, so one-fifth times what number is what we're solving for. So x is, always means equals, seven is just a number, so we leave it as is. So our equations are very similar, they're just kind of flipped around. So now to solve for x, we need to get rid of this one-fifth, which is being multiplied by x. So we're gonna divide both sides of our equation by one-fifth. On the left side, 1 fifth divided by itself is 1, so we're left with 1x, which is just x. On the right side, we have 7 divided by 1 fifth. And now we're going to keep change flip. So we're going to rewrite 7 as 7 over 1, change division to multiplication, and flip 1 fifth to be 5 over 1. And 7 over 1 times 5 over 1 is 35 over 1, which is just 35. So we get that x is 35. So we get that 1 fifth of 35 is equal to 7. Let's go through two examples where the numerators are not 1. So for example 3, we have 10 is 2 sevenths of what number? So again, we're going to set up an equation. So we have 10. And remember, is is the same as equals. 2 sevenths is a number, so we keep it as 2 sevenths. Of means multiply. What number is what we're solving for? So that's going to be x. So we have 10 equals 2 sevenths x. So because 2 sevenths is being multiplied by x, to get rid of it, we need to divide both sides of our equation by 2 sevenths. On the left, we have 10 divided by 2 sevenths. On the right, 2 sevenths divided by itself is 1, so we're left with 1x, which is the same as x. Now we're going to divide these fractions. So we're going to rewrite 10 as 10 over 1, change division to multiplication, flip our second fraction upside down. And we're going to do a little cross-reducing here. So we're going to cross-reduce the 10 and the 2 by dividing them both by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have 5 over 1 times 7 over 1. 5 times 7 is 35. So we get 35 over 1, which is just 35. 
So we get that 10 is 2 sevenths of 35. So moving on to our last example, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try it on your own, and then you can watch me work through it to make sure you've done it correctly. So we have 3 eighths of what number is 24? So again, let's set up an equation. So we have 3 eighths, and of is going to mean multiplication. So 3 eighths times what number is what we're solving for, so that's going to be x. Is is always equals, and 24 is a number, so we keep it as it is. So we have 3 eighths times x is equal to 24. And now to get rid of the 3 eighths, because it's being multiplied by x, we're going to divide both sides by 3 eighths. On the left, anything divided by itself is 1, so we're left with 1x, which is x. On the right, we have 24 divided by 3 eighths. And let's do this division on the right. So we're going to rewrite 24 as 24 over 1. Change division to multiplication. Flip 3 eighths upside down to be 8 thirds. And we're going to cross reduce. We're going to divide 24 and 3 by 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 8 over 1 times 8 over 1 is going to give us 64 over 1, which is 64. So we get that 3 eighths of 64 is equal to 24. So hopefully this video helps you guys understand how to find fractions of numbers when you're finding the whole. Basically, you just want to set up the problem as an equation and then solve the equation.